Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Intraday Screener. Today, we are going to discuss about future scans, which is one of the most important and useful features of Intraday Screener. So, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So, in futures, you'll be having two different type of categories. So, let us discuss about each and every category one by one. Firstly, we'll discuss about futures dashboard. So, here you'll be able to find out eight different type of categories such as price gainers, price losers, oil gainers, oil losers, long buildup, short buildup, long unwinding and short covering. So let us discuss about each and every category one by one. So when it comes to this price gainers, you'll be able to find out the stocks which has given the highest returns on the current trading day. So especially you need to keep one point in mind that we are only discussing about FNO stocks. That means the stock has to be under FNO segment. Only those kind of stocks will be listed down under this futures dashboard. So here the stocks are listed down under the specific price gainers list in descending order. That means the first stock would have given the highest returns on the current trading day and the last stock which is out of this uh, top five stocks that is Apollo tires would have given the lowest returns in this specific um, list of stocks that we are observing here. So when it comes to this price losers, here you will be able to find out the stocks which has given the lowest returns on the current trading day, such as Coal India, Jindal Steel, Tata Steel, ONGC and Intellect, which are the top five stocks. So here also you will be able to find out the stocks are listed down under uh, in descending order. When it comes to this OI gainers and OI losers, here open interest is increasing. So that is what OI gainers means. And when it comes to this OI losers, that means open interest is decreasing. So here also you'll be able to find out the top five stocks in each category. So before discussing about uh, long buildup, short buildup, long unwinding and short covering. So let me explain about some sort of um, theoretical topic. So let me share the whiteboard. So we need to understand the correlation between price change and OI change. So what could be the combinations possible? Price should be increasing. Open interest is increasing price would have been increasing and open interest would have been decreasing the price would have been decreasing and the open interest would have been increasing the price is decreasing open interest is also decreasing so when any stock in any stock especially we are only discussing about f and o stocks here in any stock when the price is increasing and open interest is increasing that means long buildup is happening in that specific stock when the price is increasing and the open interest is decreasing, that means short covering is happening. When the price is decreasing and open interest is increasing, that means short buildup is happening. When the price is decreasing and the open interest is decreasing, that means long unwinding is happening. So this is what you need to understand and be clear it so that you'll be able to understand whether you need to go long or short in a specific stock. When you see this long, when any stock, if you see when long buildup or short covering is happening, we see for buying opportunities. When in any stock, short buildup and long unwinding is happening, we see for selling opportunities. So let us get into the intraday screen now. So here, you'll be able to find out the stocks in which long buildup is happening. That means we see for buying opportunities. Here you will be able to find out the stocks in which short buildup is happening. We see for selling opportunity. In long unwinding, we see for buying opportunity. Sorry, guys. This second we see for selling opportunities. Here it comes the short covering. We see for buying opportunities. I hope everyone understood how to make use of this futures dashboard. So here you can also select different expiry dates such as may june july the next three expiries so this is current expiry near expiry and the far expiry so that is what uh, we'll be having different type of expiries 
so here when it comes to this futures trend you will be able to get the list of stocks in futures dashboard only you'll be getting the top five stocks under each and every category but here you'll be able to get the list of stocks where you can clearly see the price change oi change and also the trend so when you select this price gainers price loses and any category you'll be able to find out all the information such as price change oi change and what is the trend of the specific stock the only difference between futures dashboard and futures trend is that you will be able to find out all the list of stocks especially fno stocks that we are observing here so i hope everyone understood how to make use of this future screener so let us meet in the next video thank you guys